Welcome to Bitcoin Advisors Channel. You're going to join us for our morning call here, our morning little take profit section. And we are bleeding into a profit right now on this little Ethereum trade. Let's see if we're going to wick down a little bit lower. I'm going to show you one of my favorite trading tools. This is High Block Capital. So you can see heavy liquid or not heavy, but massive liquidations coming in at 1623. I do believe this is where we're going to head down at some point today. Bounces along the way, uh, along these little mini, mini dots right there. Um, what else I wanted to point out here is giving us the bearish bias buster. Actually, I'm going to show you where I'm going to take my profits on this little trade really quick. Right there. Um, and if it swings back up here, I'll probably just, uh, I'll put my stop loss right above that prior range wick high technically guys you should have it a bit higher up here because you know you can get a nasty uh green candle to your face really quick if you're short in this market um what else give me the bearish bias here is mr nasdaq bleeding out also notice we're breaking this trend line here on the 15 minute time frame if we do take out this wick it could be pretty nasty to the downside right now but i'm just going for a quick little scalp for 200 bucks Give me your pocket change, sir. Um, what else did I want to talk about? All right, so giving us the bearish bias I was talking about with the guys right now is not only um, is the dollar ripping to the upside, but NASDAQ on the hourly time frame is putting a very familiar signature in right here. This is it. This is a topping formation. You got volume and a green, nah, that big, Red Darth Maul candle. They're going to lightsaber you back to <laughs> Princess Leia here soon. Darth and Doggy Town. <laughs> uh, bearish engulfing candle. So immediate continuation to the downside, uh, typically when you see something like that. Now, the hour hasn't closed yet, and we could just tap this green 55 and rip back to the upside. Um, if the day does close like that, that's going to be a bit of a gravestone shooting star reversal type candle and i do suspect that the storms are brewing in the bond market the storms are brewing in the oil market the storms are brewing all over and uh, i was watching an interview days and david rosenberg this morning they're all saying the recession is going to come uh, it's just a matter of when it's, it's not a matter of if um Let's just go down the stack here, looking at S&P, same kind of formation, Dow Jones. Everybody's getting rejected at the 618 right now. So we're not out of the woods on most of these. And um, with the dollar ripping to the upside as we are speaking, come on. Can you give me a little profit here, sir? Can you, can you come? Can you touch down? Um, anyways, liquidity is where all the buyers and sellers are. That's where the price is going to go. You've got a liquidation level at 1630, uh, 63 to the upside and uh, 1623 to the downside. A break of that range is likely going to get you the next big move. You guys all came for here for Bitcoin. For Bitcoins. Okay. Interpreting the candles here. Massive range on the daily. What am I seeing here, guys? Uh, just out of sight here, out of mind. Uh, is this is the weekly trend line, the weekly pivot trend line. And it does look like it wants to grace its presence with a tap, a tap, a touch. And um, that would be perfectly okay, guys. I am still going to be macro bullish on Bitcoin as long as we are making higher lows and higher highs on the weekly time frame, uh, specifically this pivot right here. You know, start to close back below there and violate this area. Well, um, that's not going to be good. But not all hope is lost. In fact, even if Bitcoin comes down to 20,000, 21,000, still think it's a major buying opportunity setting up for the Bitcoin halving cycle. This is typically what you do see going into the halving cycle prior to, this is one year prior to the halving, right? You get a bull rally. <laughs> a party to the upside, and then a little bit of a correction. So this is a bit of a stutter step, similar to what we saw back here. I mean, call this a stutter step, right? We had a 100% rally and 100% uh, 
drawdown. How, how big was that? That was 70% of the downside, so not bad. Um, <clears throat> so taking a look at Bitcoin dominance as well, we want to keep an eye on that, trying to put in a higher low, getting defeated by the purple 200. As long as we're above that major node right back there, or that candle or whatever you want to call it, the pink one. What is that pink one? Can you explain? So the pink one, you got the pinks and the blues, and those are where um, reversals tend to happen on the market. A, a pink or magenta, whatever you want to call it, that is a red candle, uh, a red reversal candle, right? Uh -huh. So you can see, bam, reversal, okay? Bam, reversal, bam, reversal, uh, blue one. So the blue and the pink just signal reversal, right? So it's not a definite reversal; it's just part of it. But essentially, the blue and the uh, the so blue like and the that. pink looks at the prior ten candles and it has like a hundred and fifty percent more volume than the past prior ten candles. The red have two hundred percent, and the green have two hundred percent more volume than the prior ten candles. So uh, back on to Bitcoin dominance, putting in a lower high and momentum to the downside. Could it push down one more time? Yes, I do think so. That would benefit the altcoins. How's Mr. Cardano's doing? Cardano, bleeding it out, bleeding it out. And uh, this one, look at this pivot down on the market. So here is the major area of interest, that little blue candle right there. That is uh, kind of my idea for where this one is going to go ultimately at some point this month. Uh, taking a look at the monthly on Cardano, trying to hold on to this level. If they lose that level, it's game over. All right. Bitcoin dominant or Bitcoin on the macro monthly momentum still to the upside, putting in a bit of a sell signal on the monthly. Not the best thing. We need September not to be a red month. We need September not to be a red month. The bi-weekly, not looking healthy as well. All right. Uh, last thing I think we're going to do is Ethereum. Then we're going to wrap this one up. Any other questions, guys? We'll do Aave before you wrap up. We'll do some Aave. Uh, let's check out Mr. Aave. Rob, anything? Any other? Uh, oh. <clears throat> Massive descending triangle. And if we do a break the lows here, I'll give you the measure move. So how do you measure a triangle, Rob? Uh, from, from the 50% the when they're, you, so the, you take 50% full, right? That's where you get your, your vertical line. But I thought you only did the wicks if you're being aggressive and you do the candle bodies if you're yeah. being more moderate. After the year, yeah, that's true. Um, I'm kind of using bodies and wicks on this formation, right? There's a body touch, there's a body touch, there's a body touch. Okay, correct. And you can, you know, over time, you're going to develop your own style of where you put these trend lines after you draw them a thousand million times. Um, some people use wicks, some people don't. But this one, I would say, if we do close anywhere below that pivot uh, would be your general target. Measure move all the way down Ooh. to that wick Dude. back there. And what's the, what's the number on that one? I can't, I can't. That would put it at 26 cents. I don't think that's gonna happen. I personally think you probably have a better chance of something like that. So a bounce off the bottom side here and then a rip to the upside. Do you have AKT on here? AKT. I know you are stacking some AKTs. A lot of people stacking the AKTs, the Akasha Network. Thanks to me, Mr. Tika Tawari, down for a dollar on the two week chart. Um, if you are going to bounce it, here's the area you want it to bounce. This is going to be the full retrace. <laughs> the full retrace. Um, if you are going to bounce it, right, which I do suspect we probably bounced off the first pass on this as long as bitcoin doesn't get damaged too much did my trade go well this is one of those times where i'm going to just let it go because i i'm sitting here 
not really monitoring my channel and come on go that's bs see Yeah, I just wanted to get out because I, it, this is could be a potential W, oh, and okay. and I had my TP right there. It missed it by a fraction of a skin hair, and um, either way, I'll take forty nine bucks. Chris, you asked my observations, and so when you said Bitcoin, you know, it's historically September is not a great month, and then you said it to be a great month what did you mean by that to stay in to stay in an upward trend oh did i let go of it too early is nasdaq bouncy i'll answer your question in just a second um i did want to point out this picture we were talking about because the same thing happened on bitcoin and just bring me back to that question so my trades are not open right now i'm good to go okay oh look at that look at that that's no all right a caution network bounce in temporarily, perhaps. Um, on the monthly time frame, I said. Good old Tika. Good old Tika filling his bags. Filling his bags, dude. dude. <laughs> Tika to war. I mean, that guy's is the ultimate salesman. I I love him. I love him. He was the first of the first, um, and he has really had some good tips like to be fair one of the tips that i got for sandbox came like irrespective of tika okay. so how long ago was that that was that was when the sand first came out um i, I don't remember but yeah, okay it seemed like he was more accurate a couple of years ago one hour he called it video three years ago oh yeah like a few years ago this said, oh, yeah. No, I think that he's getting old. He's, no, I think that he's he moves the market in toward his advantage, right? So he probably got in at you know AKT, and so hold on really quick. Let me show you what I was. My point is on the hourly time frame on Bitcoin. This was the big reversal from yesterday. If you see that formation, those I forgot what that's called, but um, I think they call it a railroad track or something. Uh, but that formation, those, you know, the big wick up and down, that was your reversal signal right there on that closure. Um, thank God I traded that one yesterday. <laughs> uh, but but that's not a bearish engulfing can. It's not what I called it, right. right? I just said that formation, those two candles. Right. I call it snake eyes. Snake eyes. Okay. Look, you got another one right here. Very similar. Showing us, hey. Downside pressure on. Um, very similar on NASDAQ right here. Very similar formation, not the same. Wow. Didn't fully bearish engulf. So right. Almost, as I though. said, though, like what, what, what could potentially happen? You get a little bounce up Maybe and back. yeah. Also notice that we broke the 618 on this retracement. Oops. From the ultimate high to the ultimate low, we are now closing dailies above the 618 and just tapping it for a little support. Wow. So uh, overall, guys, today, the economic data did come out bullish for the dollar. ISM manufacturing lower than, sorry, higher than 47.6, higher than expected. So economy, you know, growing slightly there. Another big one, S&P global manufacturing higher than expected. Um, you had the unemployment rate, which went higher point for the, you know, for Jerome Powell um, and then non-farm payrolls coming in higher than expected was uh, bullish for the dollar and uh, not a point for Powell. That was a point against Powell. And when I say point against Powell, what I'm talking about, Powell wants the economy to take a dump, unemployment to go higher, people stop spending money and make inflation go down. Even though the inflation numbers are coming out, we all know they're lying to us, right? right? We all know inflation is not really down. And the fact that they're coming out and saying inflation is down is total BS. We all know it, right? So um, the fact that they're lying about it is concerning. So if we get a surprise 
to the upside as my Ethereums are filling out to the downside. I shouldn't have let it go. Dude, we Look do, at that. We ought to do a video on why that is, you know, the baskets of basket of goods and how they keep manipulating that. Um, it's not the real inflation, right? Yeah, we, we will. But I think that's it for today, guys. We're going to be back on Monday for some more uh, updates on Bitcoin and the price action. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored day. We will see you next week. Take care.